Hi, you guys. How are you doing? Is everybody feeling springy like me? It's going to be up to almost 60 tomorrow in Connecticut, and I'm excited because it's been in the teens and 20s. I am waiting for my link so I can text my text club people that I am on Facebook Live, and we're going to do a little a little fun spring craft today, a little painting. Um, and I have to tell you, there we go, that's done. I am not a big, you know, holiday decorator. And I thought about this because I think it's when my sons, I have three sons, I have twins and then a singleton. And when they were little, they would bring home all the holiday crafts, you know, all the different things. And that's how I decorated the house. And I actually still have their, their crafts and I put them out. And my twins are 30 and my youngest son is 28. So that's crazy. I've, I've dragged them around and I love them. I just absolutely love them. Um, but a couple of things before I get started. I've got a few more of the Iron Orchid paint inlay kits. That is also includes a virtual workshop. So definitely grab those if you've been curious about um, using the new Iron Orchid paint inlays. And a customer asked me yesterday, are those transfers? They're not transfers. These are paint inlays. They go into wet paint. So very, very different technology, totally original. And um, get some more light over here. Um, so they're really cool and they have a little bit of a learning curve and I love them. Um, and what else? The Surface Anthology membership is open. People have asked me about that. Just go to surfaceanthology.com and click on membership. For the paint inlay kits, you go to my shop. It's chalkmercantile.com. All right. Oh, and then another question I got yesterday when I showed you guys um, my little Iron Orchid mold clay um, creation. Um, this person asked me about the clay cracking. So this is the Iron Orchid paper clay. I absolutely love it. Like even with this, I'm trying to see if I could see a crack and I don't, but when I was I glued these to each other when they were kind of crusty, not dry. And the top, what happens is the top gets dry, the inside is wet. So if I went to kind of push this down on top of the frame mold, I could have created a crack. It, it didn't crack. And I have to tell you, I haven't had a lot of experience with my mold cracking. So if any of you have, let me know and let me know how you resolved it in the comments because I I have used the Iron Orchid molds. I've glued, I usually glue them down wet and then I'll wait for them to dry or wait for them to dry a little bit to paint them, but I haven't had issues with cracking. So I'm curious if you guys have and if you know a solution so I could share that um, with the woman who, who wants to know how to resolve cracking. So let me know. Now, for our craft, I have these four little eggs. And they are paper mache eggs. You can see I was experimenting on these with leaf and stuff. But what I'm going to do with them is paint them in four different pastel colors that I have. And a while ago, um, I have a barn quilt bunch of barn quilt kits and I um, let me get this and I'm using toothpicks in the bottom of these to hold them while I paint them but one of my barn quilts was inspired by uh, songbird eggs so I'm using those kind of um, pastel colors and I really like that I want to keep them natural so I'm using chalk paint I'm not getting super fancy here and I'm just going to start painting them. And I just took a toothpick and put it inside. There's a little hole at the bottom. You can feel it. So you can just poke that through. 
And this one I painted previously in, I could tell it's milk paint, but we're gonna get a little bit brighter with some yellow. And I'm using an artist brush, makes it easy. And even on this toothpick, my egg, my egg is moving around. So I may have to do this in sections. And I'm really applying a nice coat. Are you guys, are you decorating? Do you decorate for Easter, for spring, for all the how for St. Patrick's Day? And now I realize with my grandson, I put his stuff around and I do want to decorate for him. Um, and also I think following all you guys here on Facebook with all the holiday decorating. All right, I'm just gonna blow dry this a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it down on a sheet of wax paper while I do the other ones. And then I'm gonna show you um, one of my pieces of ironstone. If you watched my live yesterday, and maybe the day before I was talking about ironstone, I love it. I have it everywhere. All right, that feels good. So I'm just, I have my piece of wax paper and I use wax paper a lot. It's great for drying because nothing's gonna stick to it. Let's cover this up, rinse my brush. And then this is kind of a greeny blue. This is a really pretty color. Same thing. Rinse that brush. And paint, I love this color. I love all these colors, they're so beautiful. Are you guys feeling spring where you are? I went out this morning with the dogs and it was, it was really cold, but the birds were singing, and I just got that feeling today. You know, spring is around the corner, and it's always very exciting. I see gardening posts coming up, so I have to start thinking about that. My grandson announced that he wants to plant blue flowers all over our yard, and he has a tractor, so he'll, and he knows... <laughs> He knows how to use it, so he'll be using that for spring planting. Okay, same thing. Dry our little egg. Doesn't, oh, I just got fingerprints in it. That egg didn't want to separate. Okay. Now, I've got my new paints here. I have two colors that I picked, and this one, which is beautiful, is called Seaside. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll start with that. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Rinse out that brush. This would probably be a really fun project to do with kids. You just have to put down a drop cloth. <laughs> the paint is gonna go everywhere. But I know my grandson would love it. And like I said, I am loading on this paint because I don't really wanna do two coats. I just wanna get it covered. This. Mud paint is beautiful. It is just really creamy and dreamy and it has very, very good coverage. I 
Okay. And you see me sticking my brush into my containers of paint. Now, just be aware, you know, because you always hear me say this, don't work out of your can because you're going to contaminate the paint. So, if you do, don't do what I do. Do as I say and pour a little bit of your paint into a bowl or onto a plate. And especially if you're working with larger, you know, pints and quarts. Oh, I love that color. All right, I'm going to use another toothpick to move this one. Okay, and a last one. And when you get a new one, you'll see there's like this little dimple, and you could just stick the um, toothpick in there. And. This color is really beautiful. It's called Sky. And it does look like the sky. I absolutely love this color. Get rid of that. Rinse my brush. Same thing. You know, what I really need, this one's just dangling on here, is a knitting needle. And I knit, but I was just, didn't want to go through all my needles. I'm gonna to have to do this one in two parts. So I'm gonna dry it. Look at that color. It really is like the sky. It's so beautiful. Uh-oh, these eggs are really light. All right, and then I'm just gonna do the bottom. That's good coverage. That's really nice coverage. Okay. Okay, one I just have to touch up. Actually, I think I like that texture. It looks like an actual egg. Okay, these feel good. All right, now let me show you. Let's close up our paint. Oh, I think I got paint on the inside of my. Hey, Janet, East Texas. What's the weather like there? Is it beautiful now? East Texas. I don't even know. Texas is so huge. <laughs> I was looking at a map 
And the only thing that, that blew me away even more than Texas was Alaska. My sister-in-law is living in Alaska now and it's massive and Texas is huge. Well, Jana, I'm glad you're joining me. So now I wanna show you, here's a piece of my, and I'll tell you about this black grass here in a second. Here is a piece of my ironstone that I collect. I love this, love, 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 love. I use it, um, we have plates, we have cups we use every day. I have a gorgeous gravy boat, and you could pick this up now for nothing. I just think it's so beautiful, and look at that shape, it's so classic. Cloudy and stormy, high in the mid 70s. Recap, so Janet, what I'm doing is I'm painting some little eggs, some paper mache eggs, with pastel colors for some Easter decor or spring decor. Look at how pretty. And I wanted something, I was, I'm inspired by songbird eggs. And um, I wanted to show you guys how I put, how I use my iron stone, because I was yapping about that yesterday. The other thing, Janet, is I had a customer asking me, quickly, you guys, if anybody's watching, watching in the replay and they have the answer, she saw my project from yesterday and she has an issue with the iron orchid um, paper clay, the air dry clay cracking. So if you know anything about that, Janet, let me know. I haven't had the issue with cracking and she wanted to know about resolving it. And I wonder if it's a weather issue or something like that. All right, so my I asked my husband to get me some shredded paper and I have two colors. I have the natural craft and I've got black and he grabbed the black for me. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna use it. It actually looks really pretty in the ironstone. And then I'm just gonna put my eggs in. And this stuff is bouncy. That's the only thing. So I think I'm gonna take some of it out. And you know, when my grandson comes over, he's gonna be four soon. He's just gonna be playing with these eggs. So I'm putting them and, and look at those colors, aren't they beautiful? Hey, Joni, Joni. Now you guys, Joni is of Weathered Wings. That's her business. Joni is also an Iron Orchid stockist. Joni, do you know anything about the paper clay cracking and how to resolve that? Like how to fix it? Because I don't, I haven't had the issue. But you guys, look at these eggs. How sweet is that with these colors? I love that. I'm not a I'm not a super sparkly. Aren't they pretty? And look, Joni, it's in my my antique ironstone that I was blabbing on about. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna look for, or what I might do, is add like little candies in here in these colors. And this kind of goes. I'm trying to do crafts because I have them building up that I that I would put around my house and use them you know so i'm actually making stuff that i'm going to use and i might add either smaller paper mache eggs or maybe some candy oh my god some chocolate but look at how cute that looks in the ironstone i have to turn it to the side there go my eggs oh joni thank you marcia hey marcia marcia marcia's going to ireland Marsha and I and a bunch of friends and my husband went to Ireland and man, I'm dying to go back. I'll tell you, I'm ready for a trip. But there's my nature inspired um, chalk painted eggs. I did think about doing and I might look at these and decide tomorrow. You did a whole video on, okay, Joni did a whole video on air dry clay. Joni, put the link in below in this one so that way people who are having issues with the Iron Orchid Air Dry Clay, they can go check out Joni's um, video. And Joni knows, knows her Iron Orchid stuff for sure. That was a blast, wasn't it, Marsha? Oh, my God. You've been to Northern Ireland, Joni, Joni. We, we had so much fun. So I have to say, and Marsha, Marsha, you guys were so sweet. It was a, um, what was it? It was an action tour. What did we take, Marsha? It was like 
climbing and kayaking, and I'm more into antiquing, you know, pints of beer, looking at shops that, you know, antique houses. And everybody was really patient with me. I loved it. Janet, oh, you went with your family. It's, it's beautiful. And the people, the people, they were absolutely, everywhere we went, they were wonderful. You feel like you're a member of their family. It was incredible. What I'm pulling out here, you guys, is my one of my favorite. Um, it's by Tim Holtz. It's the collage paper. And I thought if I think these are boring, I might collage on some birds. Wolfhound tours. <gasps> Marsha, you guys, we took wolfhound tours in Ireland. It was the best. And we went from Dublin. Didn't we go all the way up? And then across, and it was stunning. You spent your retirement money. Oh my God, Janet, but isn't it worth it? Oh, the food was really good. The Guinness was really good. The people, the music was incredible. And I love music, and I was like over the moon. I want to go back. Um, so anyway, you guys, getting back to our craft, I might... I don't know. I mean, this is really pretty. Maybe I should crumple it up and put it in the bottom of my little nest here. But, and these are kind of, the eggs are kind of small for this. But I do have some other things I might do tomorrow that, to put candy in some containers. You went on CIE tours. See? Absolutely incredible. I want to go back to Ireland. I want to check out the antique shops. Do some tours of the antique houses because they they're just they'll be out you know on a cliff and they're so dramatic and so beautiful and the furniture and everything was absolutely exquisite and uh, of course Marsha we just had a blast going uh, just looking at the scenery hiking looking at the cliffs the food the friends it was incredible I loved it one of my favorite places I've ever been um, so you guys. This is it. I'm going to be back tomorrow, though. I've got some little, uh, these little containers. You'll see they're from Germany. The, the factory doesn't exist anymore, but they had been making them since the 1800s that I'm going to create a finish on the outside, and they, they pull apart, and I'm going to be putting um, candy in there for, for Easter, for an Easter egg hunt, Easter candy hunt that we'll be doing at my house. You guys, Marsha, Janet, Joni, thank you so much. Joni, I hope you put that link because we're going to resolve this issue with the cracking clay. So guys, get out your pastel colors. Look for inspiration. If you collect ironstone or maybe mid-century fiesta wear, oh, how cute would a little fiesta wear bowl look and um, you could paint your eggs in the fiesta wear colors. That would be amazing. That paper would be pretty as the filler, right? I thought so too. It's like, put that in there. Marsha, Rick got me, um, Rick got me black filler, but it is dramatic. I like it. But yeah, look at that. Maybe I'll make adult Easter egg baskets like this. Oh gosh, would I love those. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you can't really see it on camera, but when you're looking at it, there's all this um, script and music, and it looks really beautiful. I'll take some pictures and I'll share with you guys. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Share what you're doing in the comments for um, spring decorating, Easter decorating. Do you decorate? You know, is it something? Do you do those door hangers? Um, I see so many cool ones. Oh, Joni, thanks. Everybody... Joni just posted a link to her video on the Iron Orchid Air Dry Clay. So if you have any questions about it, check that out. And Joni's very, very informed on Iron Orchid, and she does some really beautiful projects. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Take care. Maybe we'll all meet up in Ireland someday. That would be fabulous. I'll see you next time. Happy painting.